There you go, this is SD. Been busy for the last few days here. I went ahead and uh, put the uh, wings out to the starting point because we're going to work on something a little new. What I did is uh, took the stator assembly off, put a uh, like a locking collar on it that uh, has a little spline joined into the shaft, hooked a pulley to it. This is a uh, uh, 2.40 diameter pulley. I had a one inch. That had been pretty drastic, but it had been 12 to 1, so this is roughly around just under 6 to 1 ratio. Got a uh, 12 inch pulley over on the main shaft there, and on the bottoms of that uh, rotor right there are the uh, wing support. There's another one of those locking collars there, and it's been tack welded on there. And, I don't know if you can see it there, way up on the top. There's another one dead center of that, and the shaft goes through. I'm going to do some touch-up painting here. But, we really don't have any wind to uh, get this thing tested out. I had to do a lot of adjustment here on the stator, getting everything leveled out. But, uh, we'll go ahead and start spinning it up. And, you can see the wings are just hardly moving. Yeah, I'm already at seven volts. Right there, hit 11. But I'm having to do this by hand. No wind, just like to say when you get done doing a build. But you can see how slowly the, the wings are turning. And I'm, I'm still putting out close to 13, 14 volts here. grab every other wing and see if we can do it that way. And it's a pain trying to do this, but that's about how the rotor's turning. Still putting out over 13 volts. Wing's hardly even moving. So now we got to start playing around, doing a little fine tuning here and there. I had to le level this whole platform out again because it was leaning uh, towards the front. The front had sunk down in the mud down there a little bit. So I had to bring them back up and then re-screw the frame on there. Level it out. I probably have to touch it up again. But it was the throwing the shaft off in, in where it locks into the collars and stuff. And into the, each of the uh, block bearings. So I got that adjusted now. Everything's nice and level. And uh, trying to get this tension set just right. But like I say, she does. It picks up real quick you can hear that belt there's 12 17 volts and see how fast the winds are turning so now just wait for a windy day a lot of touch-up painting to do Then uh, I wanted to run some wire into the uh, shed and hook it into the controller. Try to do some real time tests here, but now you guys can see what I've got done so far. It's been fun. So we'll catch you later on. Try to get another little video here when uh, we get some wind going on here. You guys have a good one. See you later.